Okay, so I'm going to do two cups from this last piece of vinyl. So I'm going to do the intro part of the video. It's going to be the same on both videos. Then I'm going to split them off. So this will be the third cup I'm using this piece of vinyl from the Butterfly Lane Designs box from. One is going to get the Be Happy It Drives People Crazy decal. And one is going to believe, always believe in the impossible. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do two separate V splits, one from the top, one from the bottom. So, and I'm going to put this one on the purple and this one on the blue. So what I'm going to do is start by cutting down the vinyl. Because of the pattern on this vinyl, it does not matter what direction it goes, so. So this is nine inches this way. I actually probably wanted that a little bit longer. And then I am going to cut it corner to corner. So that would make it more even. And this is a baby head tape measuring device from Amazon. It was actually 24 inches long. I cut it down to 15 because it was just too much end. But they do come in a three pack and they are super duper handy for measuring around your cups. So that is what that was. I will try to put the link in the description down below. So for this purple one, I'm going to put the vinyl at the top. going to do my cut the center out and put the vinyl back on pretty close anyways doesn't have to be perfect just needs to hold together to line it up I'm gonna leave a little top edge for a pinstripe So it's not quite perfect, it'll be okay. But I do want it as close as possible. I do think I am going to tape a little bit down on this side just to hold it in place. Third hand moment. I'm going to pull the centerpiece out first and get that started. Double check. Good. And my paint's going to peel up. Lovely. That's why I didn't want to tape on this. Okay. 
It'll be okay, though. I'm going to run a piece of tape in between here and the bottom for my V. Just along the edge. This paint has been drying for over 24, or yeah, a good 24 hours or longer at this point. So I'm not super happy. I took that entire layer off. I, which means probably all four of the cups I have prepped to work on right now are going to do the same. Okay, so I tried to touch up my spray paint and I actually made it worse, so... We're going to use a little acrylic paint to touch up our Mod Podge. Or to tint our Mod Podge to cover better. So. A Mod Podge in the cup. A little bit of acrylic paint. Mix it together. Colors close enough, it should be fine. So I'm using this glitter again, this lilac iridescent. Uh, she went out of business, so if I'm not telling you specifically what a glitter is, it's because I know it's unavailable. Um, sorry, but I can't afford to not use things just because I can't send you to where I got it from, if that makes sense. I'm going to open up my glitter, get a couple papers ready. It's just, it's what I have in the color I need, and it is what it is. Soft, fluffy makeup brush. this aside. And I don't believe that's going to need a second coat even where I buggered up my paint. So, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to go ahead and peel my paint, or my tape. Hopefully not all of my paint, but if I peel some of the paint, it is what it is. It's because this was a sublimation tumbler to begin with. Um, I should have really sanded it really well. And I did not. So... That is on me to be worthwhile. Maybe. I'll try it. I'm going to see if I can just darken up what's right here in this cup. Yes, I did just cut myself with that blade. Um, I will edit that part out, um, but I'm going to go get that under control. I don't think it's that bad, but it uh, was a little bit shocking. Uh, stupid on my part. I should not have worried about getting paint on the table to cut that open. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get my bleeding under control, probably get some new skin on there, and um, 
get it covered with a band-aid for those of you that are afraid of blood. So I'm going to cover this up though so it doesn't dry out on me. And the easiest way to do that I find is to just stick it inside a rubber glove. So I've nicked myself with blades before, but this is probably my worst, worst, um, exacto knife injury so far. So I'm just going to let this sit here and chill and I will be back in a little bit. Okay. So that was a little scary and a little bit painful, a lot bit painful, but I'm going to keep moving on here. So because this is raw glitter, I am not going to tape it again. I'm not even going to tape the vinyl part again. I'm just going to use a smaller straight brush and paint in this section. This glitter is also going to be from Glitter Bees, who is now out of business. So name on the glitter does not matter. So I'm going to cover up my glue again and my brush, same way, and let this dry for a little bit and then I'll come back in and do another coat. Okay, so this should be dry enough for the next coat. So same thing, I'm just going to apply my Mod Podge with the paint again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the paint again. Typically, on the second coat, I switch back to just Mod Podge, but I have so much mixed up that... What the heck? Okay, so then I just like to take a brush and brush off the excess if I can do it carefully. So, because it is very cold and I believe we are waiting on snow again, I'm going to let this dry thoroughly and then we're going to do polycrylic to seal the glitter down because I'm not going to be able to get it outside too clear coat it. Okay, so I am going to lock this in with polycrylic. I just have some in a little bottle that hopefully will flow because I left it open. Um, soft brush. Hopefully this one is soft enough still. I may actually grab a different brush. And I'm going to try and do the light purple first. You don't want it to run because it might pick up the glitter and make the glitter run. Yeah. Just a thin coat will lock everything into place. And poly is polycrylic, not polyurethane, polycrylic is much like using like the CC DIY quick coat. It's just a water-based sealer, non-yellowing. Don't get confused and use the polyurethane. That will be, um, could be water-based, but most likely oil-based and will yellow.
Okay, I just can't stand it up straight under the tripod, so. I'm gonna come back and grab the darker stripe. Um, this is a Dollar Tree bottle. I'd actually highly recommend one of the needle tip bottles from Amazon. Um, I just didn't have one handy. Or I actually had some polyacrylic already in this bottle. So I just went with that. But a needle tip bottle will give you a little bit better control. Less, um, less product at a time. So minimal movement, um, I'm going to let this dry, this will only take about an hour to dry really, and then I'm going to get a flood coat of epoxy on it. Okay, I am ready to flood coat this one and um, I'm going to put a little bit of a touch of violet diamond dust in it. Okay, so I am ready to pinstripe this one and decal it. I thought about decaling down here. I thought about up here. I'm just going to stick to standard. Um, and I'm going to use pink and blue glitter vinyl for the pinstripe. So I just cut little pieces off. I'm going to do one pink, one blue. And that'll be it. And I think the edge of the vinyl is so clean that I'm not even going to pinstripe around the top of this one. And yes, this is the same blade I cut myself with, I think. I'm okay, I promise. Okay, so simple striping. here or down here I really don't like I don't I just don't I don't like a bottom decal if it's the only one And I'm kind of liking these ones that are going over the vinyl because they're not, they're there. And I mean, you can certainly see it, um, but they're not like bam in your face taking away from the rest of the tumbler, I guess. Um, I do have some bleach spots coming. I'll probably already have them by the time this video goes up. But in this case, I don't think I would use a bleach spot. Like the last three I've gone over the vinyl, I don't think I would use a bleach spot on because I'm kind of digging this more blended look. So. Okay, time to get the epoxy on this one.
So uh, there we go. That is it for this one. I love it. A glitter V splits with vinyl and that super cute be happy it drives people crazy decal. Love this one. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.